Hey guys, Mike here for Eagle Outdoor Adventures. My name is Michael. We're outdoors. We're about to have an adventure. We're going to catch some black crappie today. Thanks for joining us and let's just see what happened. -da Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, guys, here we go. Slip bobber, Aberdeen hook, and a minner. Approximately three foot deep. Oh, that was a horrible cast. No, that's actually perfect. It's okay. Let's see different. what happens, fellas. You know what? Yep. That literally is where I caught the majority because was, the wind was blowing. And the shade line, you can kind of see it's not as, as well defined. Mm -hmm. But it's later. I came out like at 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock. So this was creating a shade line, and they were sitting right on the shade line. You see, the great part is if you get the ponds growing. Video, there we go. There we go. I missed him. Mike's out. Got him. Get him, Mike. There's crappie number three, y'all. That is a bass. No, nope. oh, that's, that's a crappie. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Big old fat black crappie. Is my camera aiming on this thing? No, it's below you. See, that thing, you might need to bring it back down to your chest. You're going to have to hold your head up to it. There we go. Look at that, guys, huh? Another black crappie. Beautiful. Oh, well, that's two on the same minner. I twitched it, twitched it, then he hit it. You know what that means? They're hungry. Yep. They're biting. I haven't even had to pick up Mother Pole yet. Nope. Oh, that's it. Remember I told you yesterday, I said, I mean, that was a good problem to have where you feel like I don't have to throw another pole out. Mike? There we go. Yep, he just hit it, didn't he? See, that's the golden spot right in there. Yep, there we is. go. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. I got a little too early. Oh, I'm under. He's down, guys. Got him. <laughs> Another crappie. That is a nice one. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful black crappie. Beautiful. Right there, Mike, you're under. I'm under. Got him. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Mike's got another one. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's one of the smaller ones that we put in, and it's growing nicely. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Is my red light on? Guys, look at that. Oh. Well, that's three on the same minnow. Let's see if I can get number four on the same minnow. <laughs> well, the wind picked up. In 15 minutes. There, you're down, you're down, you're down. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a better fish. Come here, baby. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Nice black crappie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you, sir. Beautiful. Look at that, y'all. Oh, yeah. We're okay. I got to wait for the cast to go. There. I put the cast in. There we go. Just let them, let the wind float them and move them, and you're down. You're down, you're down. Oh, and I missed him. That was a first. First miss of the day. Cast me right back in there. Put you on this side. I'll say this, that water temp's still pretty doggone cold. <laughs> Touching that water. Woo! 
Now that's a pretty good sized minnow I got on, so we'll see. <laughs> they didn't have any problem with the big ones I put on yesterday. They didn't have a problem at all. There we go. Life's down, guys. Got him. Oh, beautiful. Look at that one. Nice. Crappy. Well, sir, there he is. Oh, there she is. Beautiful. Nice black crappy. Nice fatty. It's a big fatty. Fatty McDougal. Look at that. Black crappie. That's number eight. So we got eight in the cooler. Look at that. Yep. See? Got him. I told you it's that spot. Yep. I twitched, twitched, and he nailed it. <laughs> oh, I'm down. You're down. This is number nine. Got him. And that makes number, number 10. ten. There we go, y'all. That's the second time we've doubled up today. That's a white crappie. Yes, it is. And this one here's a black crappie. Oh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hit me with your long pole, Jim. Don't do that. Sorry, <laughs> Times like these were made for taster's choice. Look at that. Wait, what? The only thing missing right now is a couple of Timmy Hortons. That's right. Just sit there and probably catch them longer. There we go. As soon as he twitched it, y'all. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. As soon as he twitched it. Which means you could probably put a jig on there and twitch him and get him. That or let the wind twitch it for you. Oh, I lost my minnow. Time for a minnow. Let the wind twitch it for you. Mike, what is your favorite reason to use live bait? My favorite reason to use live bait? Yeah, why is live bait so much more different and enjoyable in your opinion than, than plastic? Well, I prefer catching over fishing. Don't we all? However, there's times where I'm just really impatient fisherman and you tend to catch more with live bait just because it's more natural. All your artificial baits are imitating live bait. The pros to artificial baits are you can use them over and over and over. The cons are they're just not quite as good as live bait. That's all. But live bait, it's cons, it dies on you, it's messy, and it gets expensive. But it's all it's it's a matter of preference i grew up using live bait i prefer live bait that's all and i get a lot of action from it absolutely i agree 100 percent. be a bluegill pecking at it because it keeps doing the little there we go <laughs> that's a crappie that guy. got that on the crappie magnet look at that great job mike another job. black crappie you got that on the white crappie magnet White and chartreuse with the gold head. There we go, guys. Look at that, huh? Let's put this one in the cooler. Oh, that was fun. And that did not have a crappy nipple on it. Just really? plain. Just plain. There you go. But I did let it sink that time before I started reeling it. About 10. Also, oh, you let it sink a good amount. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, also the great thing about the trout magnets. They're a great circuit. Oh, there we go. Another one. <laughs> Number two on the trout magnet. The trout magnet is getting it done, and that is a beautiful crappie. Another black crappie. Good job, Mike. Look at that, huh? That's what I'm talking huh? about. Right down its gullet. Bloop. Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Hold on, I'm going to get you a, a shorts, too. I want to do this real fast. Ah. Oh, I got a loop in my line. <sighs> loop in my line. Loop in my line. Doodle 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 loop in my line. Ooh. And I'm not trying to retie this whole There we go. 
Got him. Nice crappie. Oh yeah. Good job, Mike. Look at that one. That's number 21. 21. Sit, uh, uh, sit still there, brother. Brother. Well, we ain't sit. going anywhere right now. Sit still, brother. Right? Yeah, that's right. Hey guys, look at that. Boom. I'm Mike Arrigo. We're outdoors. And this is an adventure. Get you some of that. Boom. Looking for the crappie or looking for the num nums? There we go. Got him. Oh, that's a nice one. Holy, that's a bass, brother. <laughs> oh, he got me wrapped up. There you go. You got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. As you see, sometimes it just takes a uh, simple minnow, hook, and a bobber to get into a lot of crappie and just have a good time catching fish. See you on the next adventure.